Hey welcome back to my new video this is Sampathy watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Mi 11X slash Poco F3 custom ROM reviews you can see here Android version is 12 L actually it is it written 12 and Pixel plus CUI version is 4.7 Alioth is that device name here and device maintainer you can see here credit to them to provide this kind of ROM and July 5th 2022 is the latest security patch available that's in the device and kernel user is 4.19.246 no kernel has been user it's also july 16 latest build and ceiling status is enforcing and build date you can see it's july 16 and have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes you can see on the screen the maximum score is 232 and average is 205 and minimum is 186 after running it for 10 minutes you can see the maximum score is very good but it should be around 260 or like that but anyhow it's fine there is throttling going on you can see here and the throttling is 83 percent of its max performance this is app results but actually i in day-to-day -day use i never faced any problems like throttling or anything like that i did not played heavy games like bgma or whatever just installed clash of clans here but the gameplay was fine i never faced any problems just there are little bit bugs here i'll explain each and everything stay tuned till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new videos lot more videos coming on me 11x stay tuned to my channel Starting with the dialer, you can see call recording option is there. But one thing you have noticed that there is no call video call red video call making directly from this dialer. You want to use WhatsApp for that. That's how it is. The basic things it is it should be fine like direct video call feature. Many people make it, but that's not available here. And flashing method, I use this. OTG kind of like pen drive and connector if you have OTG you can use that or you can transfer every time whenever you flash the ROMs you can transfer to file manager if you need really a flashing method for each and every ROM let me know in the comment section guys and also mention out whichever gameplay you want to see in this particular channel I mean whenever I make me 11 x custom ROM reviews mention out the gameplay I will make a poll also you can participate in that and choose your game i will definitely add that gameplay in any custom roms whenever i review that i am using it as a dial route this is my primary device let me turn on a little bit of volume and keep it to general this is how it is and uh, benchmark results starting with gigbench i haven't run anti two. if you really want that in next video i will definitely add this you can see here 858 and 269 for us multi and single score and you can see here again little bit similar to that it's not great enough for anything like that even if i run android also it might not come that good but what i felt is the ui is really really smooth in my opinion i really felt like i'm using a pixel devices that smooth the ui is very good and the biggest thing in this ui is the battery life yes how much you compare with any other rooms you can see here the battery life is going to be very very good and charging speeds also i will show you within a while is also very good in this room if you are considering to use for battery life and charging speeds i am speaking about 33 watt charger if you want you can use this 10 watt charger also if you want to slow charge it might even improve our battery life if you use this one let me know in the comment section guys who will use that i frequently using this 10 watt charger in MIUI ROMs but to test this ROM I used 33 watt charger for many times you can see here it topping up very quickly you can see the battery life also I can't show you exact screen on time because I am using it like I am keeping charging and again discharging it continuously you can see app usage is also a little bit less only I will be keep on adding some of the apps here that's not the problem safety and status will get passed you can all the you can use all the payment applications i already made a transactions using phone pals you can use any other payment applications like google pay whatever it is paytm etc everything is working fine whatsapp is also working fine i straight away switched from miui to this room one annoying thing for me is whenever i play youtube video 
I was getting into WhatsApp with floating windows or video slide bar that I really missed in this AOSP type of ROMs. But anyhow, you can use it like split screen option. You can use it, but the convenient part I had in MIUI that's simply here missing. Benchmark result I already shown you. The app opening speeds are also really good. I really don't know how it handles BGMI or any other Call of Duty, PUBG, New State, whatever it is, the high end games. But for a day to day task, this is going to be a very good ROM. There's a power button and everything you can see here app opening and quick settings panel is also very quick you can see here the 120 hertz refresh rate option also turned on it's working fine you can see settings you get plenty of customization in pixelizer buttons you can customize system navigation into the settings you can adjust the pill length i have increased to maximum you can see here you can see the pill which is differentiated from the actual screen that is a really good thing and if you want you can use three button two button traditional navigation navigation buttons and edge long swipe action you can choose your print of customization available and call long press to torch wake device answer call control playback keyboard cursor control reorient and click to partial screen shot is given into the gestures again print of customization one handed mode is working fine you can see here three three fingers swipe to screenshot is also working fine playback control prevent ringing quickly open camera and tap to start actions also you can enable from here everything is working fine lock screen you can see here plenty of customization again in the miscellaneous you get invert three button navigation bar and game space is also enabled if you want you can use that jitter you can calculate it and show volume panel and allow application downgrade and ignore window secure flags these are the customization available in miscellaneous you can enable or disable from here and notification vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here in the themes i like this enhance dark light theme whenever i upload a sorry when i apply a dark theme you can see here it's now pitch black condition if i disable this it is not in the pitch black condition this option i really like it let me know in the comment section guys you also like this kind of pitch black condition in dark mode or what let me know in the comment section and i will disable this there is some screen flickering going on in the video but in actual visual it's not happening bear with me and quick settings you get a print of customization here too status bar it's an pixel experience plus rom guys you won't expect any like CR drawer water octavio is like that customization it considering it's a pixel experience plus i am saying it's a lot more customization you can so choose the battery style and percentage you can hide or enable from here these are the customization actual settings apps and notifications working fine in the notification you can see the notification history if you enable that bubbles features are also working fine all of face unlock on lock screen skip lock screen those things has been added here few people find it in the settings it's available here you can enable or disable from here into battery as i said before and thermal profiles you can choose here as a c you can choose here i kept phone to dialer and youtube to streaming and clash of clans to game flipkart and chrome to browser it's working fine if you want you can customize them further also and battery temperature has been showing here and use pixel battery status provider you can enable or disable and battery saver you get these kind of options i never use this but if you want you can use that already the battery life is very good in this particular room if you want to enhance you can use this 10 watt charger and see the difference you might get at least 10 15 minutes extra screen on time when you use this you can see here some of the other settings like accessibility menu it's working fine without using the actual buttons you can use this virtually you can adjust the volume brightness and power button recent apps lock screen and quick settings you can directly use that without using the actual button and actual actions you can use that this is a very handy feature in android 12. in the previous android 11 what is to happen is you need to swipe using this pill it's a little bit difficult now they made very good like just turn this and use this toggle to use this that's how it is and switch access and timing control there are some settings also let me show you dark theme i already shown audio adjustment and there is no dolby atmosphere accessibility shortcuts you can enable from here 
sound amplifier that's present the audio output i listen lot more music and some of the ott applications also the quality video is very good as in the miui but audio was not that good but still it's usable you can see here in the sound and vibration you get just clear speaker and basic things and touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable it from here you can't adjust the strength but there are patterns you can choose from here and you can customize them according to your own settings too wallpaper sound style here here you get plenty of wallpapers based upon that the theme going to change and dark theme map grid basic colors those are working fine custom theme options are also available as i shown before in the display settings you get dark theme you can customize them you can schedule it out font size i kept this one font also you can change here night light also you can schedule them live display is given here here you can change some of the settings color calibration and picture adjustment and display mode also you can choose from here screen is ever and minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate this is not dynamic refresh rate smartphone hence you can keep both them both of them i i prefer to keep these two settings if you want you can keep this also 125 smoother experience ambient display is also working fine and per app refresh rate is also working fine full screen apps whenever it Certain app is not playing in full screen. You can enable from here. Colors. These are the settings, and there is no options like what we have in MIUI. I mean, it straight away came from MIUI. Hence, I am speaking about that lot more here. This is the first ROM I am flashing in Mi 11X. Lot more videos are coming, and I never felt this ROM. I mean, to switch any other ROM from this ROM. That good this ROM is considering for daily usage. on gaming i haven't tested because i need to ask you guys which are game you play based upon that i will make the videos and system settings again here nothing more here update is given i don't know whether it this is updates frequently come or not let me know in the comment section if you are already using this particular rom what is your favorite in this particular rom and security you got face lock and fingerprint unlock working fine i'll show you within a while and app lock is also against smart lock that's given encryption and credential rom is encrypted and that's how it is and i will be adding this flashing method also if you really need for next coming roms and material u design and everything regarding android 12 features are working fine and i am using this greatness in gcam here everything is working fine whenever i go to video it force closes because of xml or whatever it is the greatness came the camera quality is very good even night sight and astro photography everything is working fine wide angle is also working fine only thing is whenever you move into the video it's putting out of the app that's how it is there is a bug if you want you can use any other g campers what about anx camera let me know in the comment section guys if you have any i mean if you are already using that in any custom roms let me know in the comment section i will definitely add that and this recorder option the android tall style is also given in this particular rom that's all in this video i will show you the fingerprint unlock once as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone and even the face unlock is also let me show you it's also very very quick in my opinion it's as fast as miui stock rom and this all the recent apps it's smooth enough the ui is smooth i felt like this is my daily driver that good the ui is and internet speeds everything is working fine even with mobile data connection i took lot more calls also the earpiece quality is also fine enough and the carrier aggregation support is also available let me show you the charging animation here actually it is supported i mean 33 watt charger is supported I already tested it that's all guys and this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also lot more videos coming on me learn next thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now